I'm out here in my garden checking the state of my plants my beautiful babies after the rain we had yesterday afternoon and also last night they are all still misted it's been a warm winter first of june is the beginning of winter here in australia so we sort of reverse from the northern hemisphere we haven't had any frost <laughs> so which is good but we had a couple of days of rain and yesterday of course it rained and so i'm inspecting which plants get watered and which ones did not and are very very thirsty unfortunately these ones that did not get watered this is Pachypitum ectat has lost a lot of its leaves because it got rain envy so the ones at the back look even that one is also an ectat all the soil is dry and this one after all around got rained on this one decided to ah, i'm gonna lose all my leaves so these are now the leaves that has fallen off from this poor thing and so now this is a good opportunity to harvest them and get more plants so i'm gonna bring this inside later on i was gonna do it here but i'm a bit uh, hands full so i'll leave it there i'll come back to you later on and i'm gonna go check what else i've got so we'll take even that big one there i'm gonna take uh bring that inside and i'll show you what i'm gonna do with it this is a chevria clunioni this is one plant that i have been admiring for a long time but haven't had a chance to show you what it looks like so clunioni here is a couple of years old but look how beautiful the color is even in summer it already has that color and then now in winter i was hoping that it will get more pinkier it's a beautiful touch of pink like gorgeous 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 plant but look all around look at that beautiful it's gorgeous <laughs> and that marble was dropped by the birds from the front so brought it in here out in the back and Put it on this cleone just so it can contrast well with the color of the plant. Canopytum Koyumun is in bloom. I don't have any seeds collected from this plant yet, so I'm looking forward to collecting these seeds. Also, this Canopytum hybrid is also about to open up and show me its flowers. I think that one did that bloom ready that I miss. I'm not too sure about that because look, see, but anywho, the other one here as well, I think, is that a flower or something else? But they are just so gorgeous, they're so cute and they're growing so fast, they're actually fast growers, I'm surprised and they're very frost hardy as well. And this one is filling up this pot now. I did get this as a cluster, but it was half the size of what it is now. By next year, I'm sure this is going to fill up this whole pot. You won't be able to see any of the granite that's on the top. Look how gorgeous this is. Echeveria agavoides, corderoi, with red tips, splashes all over the place. And the next one to it is also corderoi but not as pretty as that little one here so this one look it's just about to go red splash but not as pretty as this one planted in the same spot same area same time same channel but they look kind of different but aren't they beautiful both of them so but if i have to pick one i would say i prefer this one than that other one there not beautiful so this is going to be like a after the rain tour in my backyard because I can't cover the whole front and backyard because it's a big area. But anyway, the silhouette, oh my goodness, it's huge, huge. Look at that. But that on slow, look at them. They're competing with each other. But the silhouette has produced a baby at the back. So instead of having three plants, I've got four now. And I think I still have a silhouette somewhere up the top there, but I can't get to it right now. And for now, I'm just going to admire the color of this beautiful, beautiful silhouette. 
and also that Bloody Maria. Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous red. Look at that. Gorgeous, beautiful. So many beautiful plants. And how about this purple delight? Gorgeous. And <laughs> I put next to it is this peach frost that I recently bought and I just want to see the difference of the two plants because there's a lot of plants that sort of look similar to each other and whether it's worth getting all of them or just picking one or two because I am running out of space but anyway I've got them both so it's only a matter of growing them I will always find spots for them anyway but there's some plants that I will grow more than the others, especially if they're kind of small like this one. This is a small plant. This is Sagita mini version, small one. I haven't seen anyone selling this online. They always have the big Sagita version, but this tiny one is always so good gorgeous it's so beautiful all year round actually the color sort of stays the same but of course color is more intense during winter or cooler weather so in summer what I tend to do with this plant is put this in a little bit over on the shady area bright shady area and it seems to keep its color this Sedevaria roli has been grown from a variegated form and now none of them seems to be variegated but they have this beautiful color that is just growing into clusters especially that one there look at all those cute ones isn't that gorgeous so it kind of sort of looks different to the other regular non variegated one but I do love this reverted version this is my other rolly that I was talking about this is the original uh, non variegated form that I have in my care and this one grows like individual like this sort of plants and you need to harvest that to grow and okay this one has got a cluster at the back but not as much as the reverted one so it's still beautiful look at it. it's gorgeous isn't it like a big nice bouquet look at that gorgeous so this one is about three years old only starting with I think three small rosettes and now to this another customer hit us being affected by the rain look it's lost one of its leaves again oh okay it's gone black just like my toenail I've been having issue with my toenail lately ingrown nails now <laughs> this one are you ingrown now you're outgrown Okay, I'll pull this out, look. Oh, that's already rotted. Nothing you can do about it, but remove it as quickly as I can or else it's going to kill this beautiful Harmin. This is a Lawi cross Picokai hybrid and it's starting to look a bit more like a bluebird, but more on the Lawi side, isn't it? Like, <laughs> these plants look so similar to each other that it's unbelievable. Okay, yeah, this is my bluebirds here that I still did not manage to report. But anyway, that one's more similar to this one. Oh, actually, I do have a bluebird up the top there. Let's compare you. Almost very, very slight difference, except this one has got more coloring compared to these blue birds up the top here and that one there I think that is something <laughs> snow angel crested that's got some rigor mortis happening <laughs> going dark black so that has to be removed a couple of leaves only so there's only that one leaf and also one in the bottom the ones at the back also maybe two so I have to bring this inside as well to see what's going on here these are now the leaves that has fallen off from the egg tart and this is the big tart that lost <laughs> its leaves. Now what I want to do with this one, okay, first of all, it's flowering at the moment. So which is good if I want to get some seeds from this one, it'll be good to let it grow naturally. But I have two of them, so this one as well, this is the bigger egg tart, so this is the bigger tart. Now this one has got two of the heads flowering as well. So I want to really cross this one with something else. So that way I can get maybe another hybrid from this one. But I'm not going to show you that one because we have to wait. 
till this blooms and also it's quite long but I am not gonna cut it so this one is gonna be left to grow but I'm just gonna remove this weed that's growing in here there you go and this needs to be watered because right now it is their growing season and when there's growing season we gotta water it and also there's another baby popping out on the side there just as a test I'm gonna try and cut or hang on just a wait a minute I'm gonna get my uh, there you go this is probably I'll just put this down so this Graptoveria was growing happily <laughs> minding its own business <laughs> this one here and I thought there's a lot of bare uh, stem so I thought I'll just chop it off what I did I started poking it with <laughs> my tweezer and look how many babies it's got popping out on the side can you believe that it's amazing so maybe that will happen if I've got the stem chopped off now I want to know if I just poke it like what I was doing showing you a while ago I wonder if it's gonna have the same effect okay so I'm gonna do that as well there do it as well there I'm not really sort of poking it I'm just removing the callus part so that way the babies can all pop out look out in the window and say hey there's a big wide world out there and I want to go out there anyway okay that's good enough so I'm gonna uh, keep an eye on this and we are going to see if that is going to grow or not so now this one's going to be left to its own device you can grow happily apart from watering I don't need to do anything to that one until a few months later winter by the way in Australia right now so during the cold weather Pachypitum graptopitalum they're actually your lavender pebbles is good to propagate your lavender pebbles at the moment and graptoveria certain graptoveria will also grow some won't not all but anyway this one now I would like to give this a trim but before I do that I have to remove some more leaves for propagation that's good enough and there's quite a few babies growing in the bottom here so off with its head now <laughs> poor thing now anyway okay I'm just gonna leave that and I'm sure a couple of babies will pop out or pick out from the side and there's a seed of a weed I think in there but doesn't matter now this one lost is another leaf loss and another one and we're gonna continue until there will be some res oh it just wants to lose all its leaves come on okay that one now okay all good so that one see firmer now we leave it and we're gonna take that off oops might as well take the lot take this off <laughs> it's just dropping off it's laying its eggs my eggs are falling down anyway that one now so I'm gonna leave this one to see if this will grow so we'll put that on the side there and this ones if you leave it or if I leave this on their own I'm actually keeping this indoors right now because uh, it's cold outside they will still grow but it's gonna take a while they'll grow faster in a more temperate climate uh, the Goldilocks zone basically not too hot not too cold then they will grow much better so once they grow they are going to do this so this one has just been left in here like that on their own and some you can see okay that one hasn't had any roots yet so then if you can see that one there's a plant on the tip there you go but no roots now this other one here has got really really long roots now this one is a special plant in the excitement of my unboxing because this was taken from plant hole or plants that I bought from a plant hole and I harvested some leaves and there was a label but I forgot to put it in and now I can't remember what the name is so I just have to wait and see till it grows up now this one's got a long roots this I can easily put in a soil like this and no fancy stuff we're just gonna grab the roots just glide it slowly so as I push it at the forward with the tweezer I'm pushing the back of my hand and this one now gently gently I will guide you gently and quickly cover that one I will still put some top dressing on that one or that one the roots if it goes down it goes down if it comes off it comes off got plenty of roots there you go 
there so now this one since the soil is moist I'm gonna leave this to dry up and give time for the plant to grow and reach out for the nutrients that's in the soil and that way it doesn't rot as well now while I'm doing that I might as well put this one this one is a bigger one but it doesn't have roots as well so this one I can just lay this on top just gonna put it in the sides and that way I'll have a cluster now there's also roots like this that grow sometimes so this is all the same with the egg tart okay now this one now no babies but just roots a couple of roots so we're just gonna put it there and see if a baby will pop out but the whole point of this this shouldn't be moist or misted under any circumstance do not water this or spray until the soil dries up so right now it's still pretty heavy so you'll get to know after a while anyway how to tell the weight of the soil whether it's dry up or not now this one now has got a little baby here look and roots as well so this one needs to be planted as well but giving time for them to grow so no misting I'm just gonna repeat myself over and over again so eventually those ones are only new to growing succulents this way will remember hopefully it's like your mother nagging you isn't it anyway I'm gonna put anyway five I've got five oh is there another root here but anyway that one oh yes another baby here there you go so I don't know which one now how about I just remove the one with the roots forget about that okay we put you back I'll just rather put ones with the babies already now go in there and the last one because I'm already guaranteed of getting plants with this lot so why waste my time on the ones with no plant okay that one now I'll be sprinkling a little bit of granite just so when I water this eventually the soil doesn't cover up the plant or doesn't make a mess because it looks kind of untidy that's good enough okay we're gonna add up later on when the roots sort of get a better hold of the soil so that one is down we're gonna put this away here no name I can't remember what that is now this one this is actually not a snow angel this is a Monroe crested so this one now look at that just even in a small pot it is uh, I'm just wondering if the soil is dry yep the soil is, is that dry no it's a moist but it just seemed to go crazy and saying I'm gonna go and strike I'm gonna rot myself to death <laughs> but anyway remove that okay so maybe sometimes uh, whatchamacallit might be some little nasties underneath here oh okay now one of the leaves falling off that's now an opportunity to grow another baby Monroe there you go so it's just a matter of cleaning up underneath because since I got this a couple of months ago I haven't watered it and also I haven't cleaned it up so oh that one is growing into a normal Monroe and probably that's what it's trying to do trying to rot a lot of the leaves just so it can have room to grow so anyway this one too my battery just went flat anyway so I'm going to continue to remove this so succulents ha are very resilient they can cope with anything and they will adjust to their environment or growing condition or situation just to survive so to the detriment of some of the leaves but it's saying it's only leaves anyway it's only oh no, I'm not gonna sing <laughs> okay so that one too just to be sure see it's already translucent oh 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 okay now that one is still good so we keep that one so I got two how about let's loosen up some more there you go do you feel better now it's like having your teeth being impacted and that's just painful I think the plant feels the same way so anyway this one now clean it up and she'll be right so I might still remove a couple of leaves in the bottom here 
later on when you're not watching but okay I'll just try there you go I did manage to successfully pull that off without breaking it there you go so now I got a few one two three four five Monroe maybe have another one okay ah there you go and another one <laughs> I'm getting carried away okay there you go so I'm gonna remove some more and then that way I will be exposing the cresting on the side so but I'll do that later on and last but not least I just want to show you this Paki Paitum baby finger that I have growing for a while so I started with one plant many years ago about five years ago now and this one needs to be propagated because it is also okay don't kill my Monroe sorry I'll just grab this just in case I sit on it we'll mix it with the other one there I know which one is which now this one I need to propagate this so I'm gonna chop off a couple of the heads especially this one because it's just overhanging there it's not a very good look and as I do this I'm gonna bid you adieu and also I'm gonna remove the flower okay this one but waste not want not those couple of leaves that's hanging off in there I'm gonna propagate it so I'll put it on the side on a different side here so those ones there harvest it because you never know what your luck is in the big city here anyway guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed that because that was very enjoyable for me and hopefully I'll see you on the next video so now which one am I gonna cut am I gonna cut you Yes, I'll cut you because I don't like the way you look. You're looking at me sideways. There you go. And now, yay, my mouse is showing. Whew, he's saying, now I can breathe. <laughs>